we uh, have a lot of innovative uh, technical uh, updates, including the fact that we have a gamma knife unit that um, has a perfection uh, upgrade, which is the most uh, advanced model of gamma knife. Uh, we can target uh, brain lesions, including tumors, uh, vascular lesions, relatively low in the skull, which we couldn't do before. The concept behind stereotactic radiosurgery, or the tool that we have, which is called the gamma knife, is to use hundreds of very weak beams of radiation energy that are all collimated, meaning they're all columns of energy, and they cross at a single focal point. So the actual amount of radiation exposure that the remainder of the brain has is very, very small and inconsequential. Where the treatment beams overlap, that energy becomes extremely high because each beam adds its energy to all the other beams. We are able to change the shape and size of that focal point and we create a focal point that matches the shape and size of the target. We then, using the stereotactic or computer targeting technology, place that treatment directly over the target. So only what we want to hurt is damaged and the surrounding structures are seeing a dramatically lower dose of radiation and are spared. But mo the advantages of gamma knife over open surgery when gamma knife is appropriate is more in the short term after after the actual procedure is done, the recovery from gamma knife is, is really negligible. Uh, you don't have to stop taking any medicines like blood thinners or other medicines that might be very dangerous if you're having an open operation. There's no manipulation or trauma to the scalp or skull other than the pin sites, which are very minor. Um, and there's really no swelling or injury to the brain. The long-term outcomes are, you know, to try to either control or at the very least, or kill the tumor and gamma knife works by damaging blood vessels and tumors. So over time, we see tumors stop growing. We see their enhancement patterns on the MRI scans or CT scans change. And ultimately, we see shrinkage in, in the majority of tumors.